ever since I was five I knew I was going to be an artist and I used to just draw all the time. The last 15 years I've been doing uh, stencils as my main art focus. Originally I was an oil painter. I saw these uh, stencils on the streets and then I thought I'm going to try doing stencils and just went from there. With stencils what you're doing is you're cutting out an image from cardboard or plastic. That stencil becomes a tool so you can use it like many times over. A lot of people uh, were using stencils as a, a political statement. It's my emphasis or powers in politics. A few years ago, I used to concentrate on Australian popular culture gone wrong and emphasising stuff about like um, anyone can be famous. My artwork back then centred around the, the cult of personality and then like I kind of moved on and kind of focused more on portraits. Portraits are kind of interesting because they tell a story of the person or maybe the area that that person lives in. To stand the test of time, a portrait has to have some kind of meaning behind it. To understand an area or who I am as a person, it's good to know where you came from, who your ancestors were. That wall, the one with the portraits, it kind of like uh, looking at back on past and present people. So I googled Townsville and then all this information came up. They've got like a list of um, outstanding Townsville people. A successful art piece should have controversy. That wall kind of reflects the uh, ancestry, people who are in sport that other people can like look up to, or the portrait's a really powerful image. For example, I was just hanging out there uh, the other day and all these people were taking photos and saying, oh yeah, I know that person. And that's kind of like an example of honouring these people who contributed towards the uh, collective consciousness of um, Townsville.